This is Wilt Week 26, and if you're not familiar with my Wilt series, it's a series where I record what I learn every single weekday, and then I compile that and post it at the end of the week. So like on Monday, I record what I learn on Monday, Tuesday, I record what I learn on Tuesday, so on and so forth, till Friday. And at the end of every single video, I say the same three things. I say, thanks for watching, I ask a question for you to answer in the comments below, and then I say, I'll see you next week, for the next Wilt Week only to have the series disappear for an extended amount of time, and then I come back with a new one and say that the series is officially back. For good. Yeah. It's gonna disappear again, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, definitely. Today is Monday, April 2nd, and today I learned where to find the field crops of California. Well, at least where to find them in UC Davis. I had math today in Vaymeyer Hall, which is a hall I've never been in. It's kind of at the top of the campus. So I did some exploring around it, and I discovered the field crops of California. And the field crops of California are these rows of just plants that I've never seen before, but they're in California. You can see there's 1 through 5, and then 6 through 15, and then 16 to 18, and then 19 and 20. Oh, also there's alfalfa, which is a very funny sounding forage crop. And then I saw right across from the field crops of California, all these different like soil samples. And I really got fixated on this one called the Arrowhead series. And I noticed that the Arrowhead series pro material was obsidian. And I absolutely love obsidian because I make spears in my free time. What? I don't make spears in my free time. I don't know what the- you make- you use obsidian to make spears. That's why I said that. I, actually, I don't know why I said that. But elementary school me was really obsessed with obsidian. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So I checked it out. I did some digging around in the arrowhead soil and I found a little piece of obsidian and I just kind of ran it through my fingers. I didn't- I didn't take it because it's not mine. So I just thought that was cool. I feel like if you told elementary school me, this would have been a lot cooler, but telling you, uh, you probably think this is what I think it is right now. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Today is Tuesday, April 3rd, and today I learned what chicken parm from Domino's tastes like. I've never really been a sandwich person, but today I got a sandwich from Domino's just to try it out. I was really feeling like chicken and cheese and all that stuff inside of bread, so I just decided, let's get a sandwich. Oh wow. It pretty much just looks like a folded over pizza, so I'm sure it'll be great. It has chicken in it, which usually my pizzas don't, so we'll see how that tastes. It's definitely hot, which is good. It, your food should be hot. Unless it's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, then it, it probably shouldn't be hot. Yeah, it's pretty good. It just tastes like a cheese pizza with chicken on it, folded over, which is pretty much what it is if you look the ingredients. Yeah. It's great. I think Domino's has really good sandwiches. If you're ever questioning like the integrity of their sandwiches or anything about their sandwiches, uh, no need to. I think they're really good. They have my seal of approval, if that's worth anything. I think it's great. Today I also learned that Domino's garlic sauce is disgusting. Oh, by the way, as I ordered this garlic sauce with my chicken parm, uh, it's kind of gross, I think. See, it's this one right here. It looks like just a bunch of butter, and that's honestly what it tastes like. And it even says on it, make your pizza even better, one buttery flavored dip at a time. So yeah, it tastes just like a bunch of butter, and it's really gross. Like, it felt like I was eating spoonfuls of fat, so I, I just stopped eating it. It was really gross. But maybe some people are into it. It just really unsettles me. It made me feel kind of weird. Today is Wednesday, April 4th, and today I learned that Cruess Hall has a lot of art on it, and it looks super cool. I'll just show you the art because it's super cool. Also, Chris Hall has these like tilted seats on them and I learned that they're not for sitting, they're more for art and display, but of course I had to give them a try. Well, I didn't have to give them a try, but I, I did. So here's that. You see I position the camera away from the chairs and then I zoom it in to get it close enough and then I go over to the chairs and I sit in it and surprise, they're not for sitting. Like any, anyone could have told you that. It was very common knowledge, but um, I wanted to give it a try, you know. Today is Thursday, April 5th and today I learned what it's like to order double cheese on pizza and then eat the pizza. I didn't just order it, I ate it after two, so. Here's that. So I got Domino's again, which isn't surprising, but this time I got double cheese. I usually just get the normal amount of cheese, but this time I got double. So, I'm gonna try it. I've never had double cheese on pizza, but I can only imagine that it would be the greatest thing ever, because cheese is really good. This is what it looks like, double cheese. It looks so beautiful. Pizza is just so beautiful to look at. It's just so amazing. 
I mean, it tastes like it has double cheese, which that's what it has. It's good, but I feel like I like single single cheese. Well, this is double. Is it normal just single? Wait, no, no. That, okay, that sounds kind of stupid. The default, the normal amount of cheese they usually put on is, uh, I think it's better. I feel like this is a little too much cheese. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick with normal amount of cheese. I should really be getting light cheese because um, this bad boy is getting kind of big. So maybe instead of going double, I should probably go to less. Probably a great idea. Today is Friday, April 6th, and today I learned that it can be sunny all week and then just rain. It rained today. I was not particularly happy about it because this entire week we had like shorts weather, you know, the sun, bright, warm, and then today it just rained all hell down on us. Today I have math and that class is all the way on the other side of campus. So here's my reaction coming back from that in the rain. So this is me getting back to my room. And as you can see, hold on, my door kind of takes a long time to close. Uh, a little longer and okay. It's so wet. So yeah, that was Wilt Week 26. And my question this week is, what was the highlight of your week? Sometimes people don't look at the positives in life. So I'm just wondering, what was the highlight of your week? I would probably say my highlight was, um, uh, I, I, I did kind of good on a math quiz. What a highlight. So yeah, that was Wilt Week 26. And I'll see you next week for Wilt Week 27, or actually in a couple of days. Okay, bye. bird is fearless. He's just sitting there taking it. Just sitting in the rain. What a champion. So majestic. Taking in nature for all it's worth. Oh, oh, oh. He's looking at us. Okay. This is Wilt Week 26 and if you're not... It's been a very long time. Oh god. I've tried to do the intro so many times and it's to that point where you're smiling so much that your face muscles hurt and you can't like smile anymore like like I don't, what does a smile even look like oh no 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 okay okay today yeah about a focus still open huh good awesome